If a patient, um, you can't get their blood in the antecubital area, or if for some reason they have an IV, you're going to have to go below the IV. So the next choice would be the back of the hand. You want to tie the tourniquet on around the wrist, again, getting it kind of tight, and you want to palpate across the back of the patient's hand. This patient actually has about four veins that we can, uh, could use for this procedure. You want to make sure that the vein is very straight, um, and make sure you know which direction the vein's going in. For this procedure, we're going to use a butterfly. You would always want to use a butterfly in the back of the hand, never a vacutane or needle. Okay. It's going to assemble very similar to the vacutane needle. You want to put your holder on the end, which allows you to use the evacuated tubes. You're going to clean the site. Once again, you want to clean it in a circular motion and you want to let it air dry. We're going to take our butterfly, take off the cap. This is a safety butterfly, so this yellow device is actually the safety part that we will not use until the very end. You want to pinch up your wings, take the top off, and once again, we want to make sure we have our bevel up. You want to make sure that you again anchor the vein and that you enter the vein in one swift, fluid motion. Now with the butterfly, you're going to see the backsplash into the tubing before you ever even put your tube on the, um, the vacutainer holder. The blood will start coming into the tube. And you just apply the tube as we did before. Once again, this is a 3ML tube, so it's not going to totally fill. And you can actually be uh, rocking this as the blood's drawing into the tube. Okay, I'm going to release my tourniquet. I'm going to remove my tube. If I kept the tube on when I took the needle out, it can actually cause the patient to have a bruise because the vacuum would still be present. And I'm going to withdraw the needle swiftly and apply pressure. Now, can you hold that, ma'am, please? You want to slide the safety device forward so that the needle is covered. And then you would just of the whole entire device into a contaminated box. Again, I'm going to mix my tube to make sure it's well mixed. I'm going to label my tube. Alice Smith, 752463. I'm going to put it in a Ziploc bag to go to the laboratory, and I'm going to bandage my patient. Okay, let you just apply a little pressure to that. You can take that off in about 30 minutes. Once again, you would send your blood to the laboratory, and you want to take your gloves off and wash your hands.